Hello team, welcome back to Strength and Conditioning Full Body Workout Session. I'm Rahul Shetty, I'm going to be your coach in today's session. Alright guys, before we move on to the warm-up, uh, ensure you have your water bottle next to you. Make sure you're, go you're going to get hydrated throughout the session so that your recovery is going to be quick and you can perform better with the movements. Alright, and uh, guys who's, uh, who've been just getting started you know, with your fitness journey, just take it easy. Go slow, do not focus on intensity until you get used to the workout. Just take it easy, enjoy your workout session, all right? And guys who've been working out on a regular basis, who's been really consistent, hats off to you. Uh, guys, make sure you're gonna challenge yourself throughout the workout session because the beauty of fitness is you can scale it up, you can scale it down according to your fitness level, all right? On that note, let us get started in today's session. We have one, we are gonna start with a warm up. The first movement is gonna be your spot jogging and you're gonna stand on middle of your workout mat from here. You're just going to jog for 30 seconds, all right? Starting in three, two, one, let's go. Just keep jogging for 30 seconds, swinging your arms. Good job. You have last 20 more seconds to finish. Keep going. Last 15 seconds. Come on, let's go. 10 more seconds. Last five. Almost there. Keep going. Few more seconds and time. Good work. What do we have next? We're going to do a scorpion stretch, which is going to help you open up your lower back and also helps you activate your glutes, your lower back, your core. And how do you do it? Starting from here, your shoulders pressing onto the floor. You're going to drive your feet to your opposite side and you're going to point your knees up towards the ceiling. Come back and you will switch. All right. As I'm doing this, I could feel my cracks breaking. So the beauty of the movement. You're going to do this for 30 seconds in three, two, one. Let's go. Keep going for 30 seconds. Focus on the movement. Good job. Squeeze your glutes. Feel your glute muscle get, getting contracted, which is squeezing your glute muscle. And then back. Few more seconds to finish. Keep going. And time. And now, third movement is going to be a cat camel, which is going to help you open up your spine. Starting from here, you're going to round your spine, hold for a second, and you're going to look up and hold there for a second. For 30 seconds, you're going to perform this. All right? In three, two, one, let's go. Inhale as you round your spine. Exhale when you're looking towards the ceiling, which is when you're arching your spine. Do not bend your elbows. It is just your spine which does the work. Keep going. Great job. Few more seconds and time. One last movement to finish. You're going to do a high plank hold for 30 seconds, which is going to help you activate your core and your shoulders. And how do you do it? Palm below your shoulders, hip in line with your shoulders, and you're going to hold here for about 30 seconds. In three, two, one, let's go. Feeling strong. Stay there. You got last 20 more seconds to finish. You have last 10 more seconds to finish. You're almost there. You've got last few seconds. And time. Good job. Done with round number one. We're going to do round number two of the warm up in three, two, one. Let's go. Keep going for 30 seconds. You can increase your pace a little bit more in the second round of the warm up. 20 more seconds to finish. Keep going. You have last 10 more seconds. Come on, let's go. Last five. Almost there and time. Back to your scorpion stretch. 
starting in three, two, one, into the position, let's go. Drop your feet, drive your knee up. Keep going. You got last 15 more seconds to end the movement. Try not to lift your shoulders off the floor, try not to. If it's naturally coming off, it's fine. But you try not to bring your shoulders off the floor. You got last few more seconds. And time. Back to cat camel. In three, two, one, and let's go. Last 15 more seconds to end the movement. Come on, team. And time. One last movement to finish. What do we have? You're gonna do high plank hold in three, two, one. Let's go. Stay strong. You have last 20 more seconds. Got last 10 more seconds. Last five. And time. Done with the warm up. Great job, team. We are done with the warm up. And now we're going to move on to the main workout. Before that, a quick sip of water. <sighs> All right. So guys, in today's workout, we're going to do three movements. All right. But we're going to do a ladder workout with the format of ladder. So what is a ladder workout? We're going to start with a bigger number and we're going to come to the smallest number. So we're going to start with number 21. You're going to reduce three reps, 18. You're going to reduce another three reps, 15, 12, 9, 6 and 3. All right. So this is your numbers, which is 21, 18, 15, 12, 9, 6 and 3. All right three movements the first movement is going to be your sumo squats and how do you do it you're going to place your feet wider than your shoulders all right this is more of your glute dominant movement so from here toes slightly pointing outside you're going to drive your hip back squat and then up squat and then up every time you come up you squeeze your glutes that's when you will count it as a rep all right which is one see i'm squeezing my glutes by extending my hip and knees two right three so this is our first movement now the second movement is going to be your hand release push-up which is going to be your upper body dominant movement and how do you do that your chest in between your palm you're going to drop your chest release your hand for a second and you're going to pick yourself up which is one two all right so this is going to be your second movement and now the third movement is going to be on your core, which is our sit-ups. And how do you do that? Starting from here, you're going to reach the floor at the back, get forward and reach your toes. That's when you will count it as a rep. If you can't do the full range of motion, you can do just halfway, which is one, two, just contracting your core. You see that? Three, four. Yeah, now you can place your arms comfortably here, here, wherever you feel comfortable. All right, now these are your three movements. Now we're gonna do with a format of 24 minutes. So the idea is completing this movement with this number that we have, and the time limit for this is going to be 24 minutes. Now you can take break whenever you want to, stop whenever you want to. The idea is to get the work done within the 25 minute, 24 minute time limit. All right, for beginners, just go easy so that you know you avoid soreness for tomorrow so that you don't skip out on your workout just go easy 
and guys who've been really regular you can also add weight for your sumo squats and perform the movement we're going to start the work in 10 seconds 24 minutes work get ready in 5 4 3 2 1 and let's begin 21 reps 3 4 5 use your heel to drive your hip up 6 7 8 squat as low as you can without going out of your form 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 done with 21 reps i'm just going to take like 20 seconds break and i'm going to move to my hand release push-ups if you haven't done it if you can start you can go ahead i am just going to go slow take that break and ensure i'm going to complete that work which is given all right starting in five back to your hand release push-ups four three two one let's go 21 counts one two three four five six seven just going to take a quick break another 15 seconds and i'm going to perform another seven reps so that i'm going to break it down seven 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 and i'll finish off the 21 first Smart way of doing things in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven quick 20 seconds break another seven so that i'm done with 21 reps of our hand release push-ups in 10 seconds maybe get ready starting in five four three two one let's go one two three Four, five, six, seven. Done with 21 reps of our hand release push ups. And we are up with three minutes. Back to your sit ups. We're going to start in 20 seconds. As I said, use your time wisely. 24 minutes, let's not get exhausted in the 21 reps itself. You have 10 more seconds. You know your body well, stop whenever you want to. You got last few more seconds. In three, two, one, and begin. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, ten more reps, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and time. We are up with four and a half minutes. 20, 19 minutes, 30 seconds left. And now we're gonna do 18. Maybe in 20 seconds, 
I'm going to take the 20 seconds break. As I said, now comes your 18 reps. Once you're done with 21, reducing three, moving on to 18. Starting in three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, come on, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Back to your handleless push-ups in 20 seconds. Get ready, starting in 15 seconds. We are up with six minutes, 18 more minutes to finish. Easy. Let's do this in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Taking quick 20 seconds break. I'm going to finish six, 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 so that the 18 reps are done. Starting in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Taking again, again, 20 seconds break. Have six more reps to finish off those 18. In 15. Starting in. 10, get ready, in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, let's go, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, up with 18 reps, it's a 666. I finished off my 18. Moving on to your sit ups in 15 seconds. Starting in 10 seconds. We are up with 8 minutes. In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's go. 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Two more, 17, 18, good job. And now moving on to 15, maybe in 30 seconds. We are up with nine minutes. We are up with nine minutes. Still got a lot of time. Back to our 15 reps. Get ready, maybe in 15 seconds. We just have 15 more minutes work. We are done. Come on. Starting in 15 seconds. Now comes your 15 reps. As I said, you can use your weight if you would want to challenge. We're going to start in five, four, three, two, one. Positioning. Starting in three, two, one. Let's go. 15 counts. One. Two, three, 
four, slow and controlled. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Who? Back to your hand release push ups. We have 14 more minutes left. Easy finish. Maybe starting in 20 seconds. Now I'm going to do 5 5 5 and finish off the 15 in 10 seconds. <sighs> starting in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Twenty seconds break. Another five reps, starting in fifteen, starting in ten, starting in five, four. Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Starting in twenty seconds in fifteen seconds. Five more reps, we are done with that 15. In 10. Get ready. In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Up with 15. Back to your sit-ups and we're done with 12 minutes. 12 more minutes to go. Hold on. Starting in 20 seconds. Back to your sit-ups. In 15 seconds, 15 reps of your sit-ups. Starting in 10. In 5, 4, Three, two, one, and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15. Back to your sumo squats. Now we have 12 in maybe 40 seconds. Easy finish. 12, 9, 6, 3. Four more rounds. 12, 9, 6, 3. Maybe we're going to start in 30 seconds. Get ready. Starting in 20 seconds. In 15 seconds. Starting in 10. Starting in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 12 reps. And let's begin. 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Back to your hand release push ups. Starting in twenty seconds. In fifteen. In 10, in 
five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. 20 seconds quick break and finish off another six reps. So we're done with the 12 in 20 seconds. Starting in 15 seconds. Starting in 10. Get ready in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Done with the 12. Back to our sit ups in 20 seconds. 15, starting in 10, up with 16 minutes, 8 more minutes work and we'll have to finish this easy, easy guys, come on, in 3, 2, 1, let's go, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Up with twelve. We just have nine, six, three left. Three more rounds in fifteen seconds. Get ready. Starting in. 10 seconds, maybe a sip of water if you want to. Back to your sumo squats of nine reps. We are up with 17 minutes. Starting in five, four, three, two, one, and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine. Hand release push ups of nine reps. In 15 seconds. In 10 seconds, I'm going to do five and four. Starting in five, four, three, two, one. And let's go. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I just want to try it and finish it off, which is you can try challenging yourself. As I said, you know your body well, all right? Challenge yourself with the workout if you're really strong enough else build that strength and then slowly start progressing in 20 seconds maybe back to our sit-ups of 12 reps get ready starting in 10 seconds in five four three two one and let's go one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and time. Back to six and three. In 20 seconds, you can just take a quick sip of water, come back. We're gonna start in 20 seconds. We have a lot of time, just six and three left. Starting in 10 seconds. 
Get ready in five, four, three, two, one, and let's go. Six reps. One, two, three, four, five, six. We are up with 20 minutes. Four more minutes left. Hand release push ups in 10 seconds. Starting in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Back to your sit ups. Starting in 10 seconds. Get ready in three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. You just have three more reps left. Last round, starting in 20 seconds. We are up with 21 minutes, 20 seconds. As I said, easy finish. We just have one and a half minute left. Starting in 10, sorry, two and a half minutes. In five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three. In 10 seconds, back to hand release push ups. Starting in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's go. 1, 2, 3. Back to your sit ups. Starting in 5, 4, 3, Two, one, let's go. One, two, and time. Good job, team. Good work. If you haven't done it yet, you still have one and a half minute left. Go for it. Finish the work. Complete the work. Come on. Push yourself till the last second. Don't stop. Do not give up. You got last 80 more seconds. Keep going. I will just rest and keep pushing you until whoever has not got the work done yet and guys who have completed it excellent job good work we're gonna start we just have another 60 more seconds to finish hold there come on 60 more seconds till the last second if you haven't done the work yet finish or else keep moving till the last second even if you're not able to get it done it's okay we can complete this the same work in the next upcoming workout session, maybe one month down the lane, two months down the lane, you can just test yourself to see your progression. For now, just focus on moving till the last second. You got 40 more seconds to finish. <sighs> Hold. Come on, guys. Last 30 seconds to finish that 24 minutes work. You got last 25 more seconds. You got last 20 more seconds. Move, move, move. If you haven't done those sit-ups, finish it off. If you haven't done those squats, finish it off. Till the last second. Come on, you got last 10 more seconds to get the work done. You got last five. Almost there. And time. Excellent job, team. 24 minutes work. Great stuff. You can stop now. Take a quick 30 seconds break. We just have one finisher left which is going to be three rounds of that and we are done with the workout. All right. I will show you the movements. Before that, a quick sip of water. I'm sure even you're tired, trying to recover, get some water, hydrate yourself, recover well. All right, guys. We just have three movements. All right, with a format of 30 seconds on, 
20 seconds of three movements of three rounds and we are done. What do we have? The first movement is going to be your hip bridges. You're going to lie down on your back, heel close to your hip. You're going to use your heel to drive your hip up. Do not hyper extend. Just extension, squeeze your glutes, drop. One, two, three. Now I want you to squeeze, squeeze your glutes in every rep and drop with a lot of control. Once we are done with this, we're going to do burpees. Starting from middle of your workout mat, drop your chest, jump back, lie down, jump forward, pick yourself up. If you want to scale it down, drop your palms, step back, lie down, come back to high plank, step forward, stand up tall. Basically, you're going to drop your own body weight on the floor and pick yourself up. All right, you're going to do these three movements. Again, you'll get back to hip bridges for another 30 seconds, which makes one round. And we're going to do three rounds of this. Hip bridges, burpees, back to hip bridges is one round. All right, 30 second each movement of three rounds. We're going to start in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's go. Squeeze your glutes. So more squats, back to this movement, a lot of tension on your glute. When you add tension, you also are working on building strength. Keep going, 20 more seconds to finish. Almost there, few more seconds to get the work done and time. Back to burpees in 15 seconds. Get ready. Starting in 10 seconds. In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, let's go. You can target somewhere on 6 to 8 reps. Fifteen more. Six. And time. Got seven reps. Back to hip bridges. Once we are done with this, we are done with one round. In 20, 10 seconds. Starting in five. Three, two, one, let's go. Come on, target somewhere around 25 reps of this. Last five more seconds. Feel that burn on your glute. Mind and body connection, muscle connection and time. Done with one round. Two more rounds to go in 15 seconds. Starting in 10. Back to your hip bridges in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Round number two. Come on, team, let's go. 10 more seconds to finish. I'm feeling that burn on my glutes already. Few more seconds. As I said, squeeze and time. Only then you will feel the tension on the muscle. In 15 seconds, back to your burpees in 10 seconds. Starting in five, four, Three, two, one, and let's go. Come 
One last. And time. Got eight reps this round. Trying to increase that one extra rep in every round. Back to your hip bridges. Starting in 10 seconds. In five, four, three, two, one, go. Your fingertip is supposed to reach your heel. That is your stance and just keep going. Feel it on your glutes. 10 more seconds to finish. Last five. And time. Whew. One last round to finish in 15 seconds. Back to your hip bridges in 10 seconds. Last round of this workout. In five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. See, my fingertip is able to reach my heel and that is my stance. And I'm just using my heel to lift my hip up and squeezing my glutes in every rep. So I could feel my muscle. You have last 10 more seconds to finish. Come on. Ha. Almost there. Last five. And time. Whew. The burn is for real. Simple movement. When you do it right, it's very much effective. Back to your burpees in 10 seconds. Two more movements. Burpees and hip bridges, we are done. Come on, in five, four, three, two, one, and let's go. And time. Got 10 reps this round. <sighs> Getting one extra rep in every round. Back to your hip bridges in 10 seconds. Starting in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <sighs> Let's go. Ten more seconds. Time. Great job, team. Good efforts. Good one, good one. All you can do is now just relax for about 30 seconds and we shall move on to the stretches. Get some water. Great job. Especially the burpees and hip bridges. Wow, such a solid work. Great job. Just relax. We will move on to our stretches. <sighs> Wipe off your sweat. Take like 20 seconds break. Come back to your mat. Let's end it with an amazing stretches. Much needed for the muscle, for the quality of the muscle to improve. Starting in 10 seconds. All right. Now puppy dog pose. Without moving your hip back, arms in front of you. Bring your chin and chest close to the floor and hold there for about 40 seconds. In three, two, one, let's go. Now focus on your breathing.
10 more seconds. And time. And now we will do thread the needle 20 seconds on each side. Bring one arm right in between your palm and knees. Rest your shoulders head on the floor. The other arm above your ears and hold. 20 seconds on each side. Slowly release, come back, switch onto the other side in 3, 2, 1, let's go. Last few seconds and time. And now let's do a hamstring stretch. Feet in front of you. Toes pointing towards you. Reach your toes, keeping your elbows bent for 40 seconds. If you're not able to, keep your knees softly bent. Reach your toes and slowly extend until you get that stretch and hold. All right, for 40 seconds. In three, two, one. Let's go. Fifteen more seconds. And time. And now we will do tricep stretch. Starting from here, you're going to bring one arm inside, palm stays on your spine, pull your elbows in, Stretch your triceps and hold for about 20 seconds. <sighs> 10 more seconds. And time. Slowly release onto the other side. Pull your elbows in and hold. <sighs> Last 10. And slowly release. One last stretch, standing straddle. We're gonna place your feet wider. From here, drop your palm by pointing your hip to the wall at the back and then you can do your adjustment. Hold there for 30 seconds. <sighs> 20 more to go. Stay there. Such a nice, amazing feel over those stretches. Good, last 10 more seconds. Now slowly walk back and then palm off the floor, stand up tall and guys, amazing efforts in today's session, great stuff, appreciate you for showing up and for getting the work done, no matter how tight the schedule is, how hectic the, uh, you know, the meetings that you have, right, I'm sure everybody out there are working employee and still taking the time out and getting the work done, guys, respect. 
on that note i'm going to end this workout session make sure you're going to get yourself hydrated post the session much needed for you to recover well for you to recover strong for your upcoming workout session all right and do share your feedback on our facebook community which is stronger together with culfit home all right until then take care recover well see you bye bye for more such workout videos download the culfit app now also don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel we are cult